I'm getting ready to do some machine quilting on the, my little pattern quilt, Woodland Secrets. And I just wanted to show you how I handle all my threads when I'm machine quilting. I'm going to be quilting with um, YLI silk thread on the top and cotton on the bottom. And I'm using a microtext needle to do the silk with. That's what I like to work with. And before I actually start quilting, I'm going to take a little manual stitch and bring my bottom thread up to the top so that when I start to quilt, I'm going to hold the two threads with my finger as I get ready to start. As I machine quilt this, I'm going to go at a nice steady pace, something that I can control. Since I'm using silk thread, I'm making my design fairly small. And I want to be able to keep my hands and my feet, the speed of my foot, at about the same speed so that my stitches stay even and consistent. When I get it all done with the quilting on this, I'll show you how I bury the threads. Here's my nice little stippling in the background area behind my jack in the pulpit. And now I'm going to get ready to bury these threads. I'm going to use a self-threading needle. These have a little slit at the top so that I can grab both threads and fit them through the slit that's at the top of that needle and um, I will bury them. Okay, I'm going to take these two little threads and I am going to just knot them together. Just a square knot is fine. And I'm going to put that right up against the surface of my quilting. I'm going to grab my needle and because it has a little slit at the top, it allows me then to just pop both threads right through the top like so. And then I'll be able to put it right back in where it came out and pull it and pull it tight. Like so. Give it a little tug so that it's taut and come in with my scissors and clip it. And that's how I bury all the threads when I'm machine quilting. 